part four of this custom 3D printer build. Today we're going to be constructing the X Gantry. This part just came off the print bed. Not quite sure if it's going to fit or not, so let's find out. So this is our frame so far as it was in the last video. Uh, I also have drilled a hole in the top right here for the uh, Z-Rod to go through. Um, so the idea with this in the room here, the idea with this part here is that it's going to snap onto this uh, bearing and then the short holes for the X gantry will slide into it like that. So first of all, it's definitely not going to snap, so the idea here is we're going to slide it over it. Uh, that fits great actually. Now I've actually added some holes in here and here for some zip ties to go through, so I'll go ahead and attach those now. So next step here is to attach, well let's see here, what should I do first? I'll go ahead and attach the, uh, the X gantry rods first, and just slide those in there. Now I made this a very tight fit, I might even have to hammer it in because I did that on purpose so that um, they would be very, very tight and secure, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to hammer these in. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do this. Let's, uh, and go grab a hammer and try to get these in there. Okay, so I just came back from the basement and I just hammered these rods in pretty easily. I did take a little dowel to shove in there first to get rid of any stray plastic strands. But that's all it took to get these in there and they're in there pretty tight and that moves quite well. So, so far, so good. Okay, so I have come across a small problem as you can see very clearly here. This notch that I cut out for the Z-Rod is much uh, not lined up by any means. Um, this is supposed to go in there, and as you can see, it is far too over. So I had to move that over. Also, um, even if it was correct, it would come into the motor mount because this motor is supposed to go on like that. As you can see, that would get in the way of this. So what I'm going to have to do is move the entire motor mount over. And the downside of that is we're now starting to limit our build space, but I don't expect this to have a very large build space, only for pretty much minuscule parts. Um, I just want to see if I can get this working at all. So I'm just going to hop into my CAD editor and move that over, say, 5 millimeters, something like that, and then move this over accordingly. Hopefully this will work much better. So the old model is on the left and the new model is on the right. What I've done is I've moved the... Z rod over quite a bit that way it lines up better and I've also moved the stepper mount over so it's actually quite a bit longer so the downside is we're cut into our build space but the plus is it will actually work Ow. fix that so as you can see here uh, that lines up quite wonderfully with the Z rod and if we take our stepper motor which is actually this one and uh, line that up it does not uh, hinder in any way that Z-Rod, so much better. Alright, so now I've tapped these into their accordion holes, and it's actually a good bit stronger than before, simply because that extra distance now gives a lot more stabilization to these rods. Very uh, limited roll space, so um, this might have quite a tiny build space. So I'm just taking some M3 screws and going through here to attach them to the stepper motor. Now I made this piece for four screws going to the stepper motor. But really with this strong of a mount, you only really need two. So how this is going to work is belt. This is going to be the drive for the X gantry belt if you didn't already figure that out. The belt's just going to really just go onto there like that and then go along the rest of the X gantry and connect it to the um, extruder assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and a test fit Z rod here. Rod here first and then. Okay, so some slight complications here. Doesn't seem to want to snap into the... Yeah, it's not going to snap in. Uh, wow, that is a bummer. Um, I'm going to grab some sandpaper. See if that works. Well, I know one way to get this to fit. The good thing about plastic is it melts. Okay, so update on what's going on here. What I've done is I've moved the stepper motor to the back um, just because there wasn't enough room to fit the stepper motor and the Z rod together. So basically, um, now this will just go like that and this will be mounted to the back and the belt will go around 
just like that. Well guys, I think that about wraps it up for this video. We got a lot of work done on the X game tree. It's gonna take a lot of work to get this thing running, but I think we can do it. The next step will be working on the extruder assembly because I want to be able to slide the extruder assembly on before having to finish off the X gantry. Now after doing a little measure, I found out that with this setup, if everything goes according to plan, we will have about 100 to 120 millimeters cubed build space. That is outstanding. I was expecting like 50 millimeters, um, but this has quite a larger build space once you figure out how everything's going to work. We definitely will have to have the hot end not directly under the bearings but a little off to the side but that shouldn't be any trouble at all. I'm just saying, thanks for watching.